Welcome back. It's been long proven that music education improves overall learning in countless ways, from developing language and reasoning to simply building self-confidence. Students from St. Anthony School in Milwaukee have been participating in an after-school drumming group that enriches their everyday learning while connecting to their history, culture, and each other. This is an after-school um, African drumming group, uh, Afro-Cuban drumming group. Um, and what we do is we bring the kids, it's voluntary, and they come in after school and um, learn Afro-Cuban beats on drums. I think the main thing that um, kids get out of music itself is the discipline of getting from point A to point B and the, different, the discipline of perfecting something um, and also working as a team um, and representing their school in a great way. Uh, and what better way to represent their school than through music and drumming. You know. We do teach the kids uh, in terms of the kind of the history of drumming. What I mean by the history of drumming, meaning the history of drumming pretty much here in the United States. And because uh, as you know, the United States is a melting pot. There are different uh, people coming from different races, different places around the world. So if you look at it in that standpoint, you cannot say like this music freely from Africa or this one is the fault. Because if something like we all speak, we, or something that we all feel, so that means it belongs to everybody. It belongs to all of us. But to a certain extent, it's good for the kids at least to know history. So what we've been doing in this program is use, uh, teaching the kids the, the, the origin of you know, the music here, of course coming mainly from Africa and brought over here or around places around the United States by the African slaves. So that's what we've been doing and we've been talking about, I mean, we built it up from rumba, which is like one of the main beats, like well known all around the Cuban area, you know, Puerto Rico, Cuba, you know, and places like that. And nowadays it's very popular around the world and that came from Africa. Uh, we learned um, African, African culture. They have history, like important things we need to learn now. Educating a child holistically is great. So instead of just educating or developing one side of the brain, we want to also develop the creative side of the brain as well. Um, and African drums is one of the best ways to do it, you know, working with rhythms, working with an ensemble, working as a team um, um, in order to make beautiful music together is an awesome way to do it. I don't really look at it as extracurricular. Music is a curricular event for us. Um, we just happen to do it after school. Oh, um, I just like learning about like new beats and stuff and friends. No, I just like taking drumming and just doing music and stuff. Kids get excited about um, coming in and being able to make music and um, play rhythms together and play drumming, do drumming together. And we have pretty much 100% um, attendance. Um, so uh, once you get it together and, 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 and everything sounds really good, kids get excited about it. Um, so being excited about being at school is a good thing. I take that fast because it makes me learn more stuff and I get to learn about the African drums and I get to meet new friends, new people and stuff like that. When you start a project like this, when you see the outcome, when you see the impact that that project has, you know, uh, with, I mean, to, but, but it does to the kids. And uh, of course, overcoming one challenge, which is like not knowing how to play one beat and get to one point where not only you know how to play the beat, but you master it, you know. You see that smile, you see that, you know, all of that. So you're teaching them like a teamwork spirit. So they learn how to interact among themselves, you know, in a positive way. That's another thing. Leadership skills involved too, because you get to one point where you had, get them to learn how to lead the group. I mean, a lot of these kids, they come, you know, they come from different backgrounds, so stressed out and all kind of stuff. But music helps relieve all that stress, all that anger, all that frustration. You see what I mean? Helps you definitely become a positive person instead of a negative person. 
because once you get your drum, you play music and stuff like that, you use through the drums, you get rid of all those negativity, dealing with frustration, again, anger, and all kind of stuff you go through in life. When we return, we'll visit with Milwaukee County Executive David Crawley to learn more about his philosophy that a healthy community begins with equal access to services for all. Stay with us. <laughs> 